When Barbie starts to have an existential crisis, she decides to leave her perfect life and her perfect friends and travel to the real world. I love when a movie completely takes over the zeitgeist. You could not go anywhere in the summer of 2023 without seeing posters and movie trailers and memorabilia and t-shirts referencing Barbie. Now usually, when a movie is hyped up for months before its release, I'm pretty let down with the final product. Now while I have seen both of Greta Gerwig's other movies, Little Women and Lady Bird, and both of them were fine, I didn't absolutely love either one of them. My personal favorite thing that Greta Gerwig had done before Barbie was when she had the minor role in the great underseen horror film House of the Devil. I was more on the Oppenheimer hype train than the Barbie hype train, and due to my limited time to actually go out to the theater to see movies, I didn't see Barbie until I could watch it at home. And by that time, it had become the highest grossing film of the year, but that could change with the recent release of Taylor Swift's concert film. It also became the highest grossing female directed movie of all time, and is well on its way to becoming an all-time classic. This was a lot to live up to, and it didn't quite live up to that hype for me, but how could it have? I still really enjoyed Barbie though, and I'm definitely going to watch it again. I absolutely loved the look of the movie. The sets really looked like life-size toys. Now I'm sure that most of them are based off of real-life Barbie play sets, but I'm not that familiar with the Barbie universe, so I like them just for their bright, unique, and plastic look. I fully expect this movie to win Academy Awards for both costume design and production and set design. Nothing else from the past several years has looked quite as bright, as colorful, and distinct. In many ways, the plot felt like a 90s or early 2000s comedy, but Greta Gerwig elevated it quite a bit by having better than expected dialogue and acting and an overarching theme that resonates really hard in modern day society. I was actually really impressed with many of the lines of dialogue. My favorite being a monologue given by America Ferrara's character was very eye-opening about what it was like to be a woman in modern day society. Barbie is fun and it's funny, but what makes it so special is that message and the way that it was able to take over pop culture in 2023. Now, no one but Margot Robbie could have played Barbie. I don't feel like a movie about Barbie and Ken should have had acting nearly this good. Now, I kind of expect that Robbie is going to be nominated for Best Actress at the Academy Awards and possibly could even take home the win. Ryan Gosling's Ken was also great, but honestly, I felt like we got maybe a little bit too much of him in the movie. And other than Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling, I felt that any of the other other characters in the movie could have been played by just about anyone. Will Ferrell was playing just his regular old Will Ferrell self that we've seen in about every movie for the past 20 years, and in my opinion, Will Ferrell was much better in the R-rated comedy Strays than he was in Barbie. The dance scenes of Barbie were fun, but they were a bit overdone, and the songs were always hilarious with huge pop stars singing the plot of the scene. Barbie is easily one of the best movies of the year. There's no denying that it is also the most influential movie of the year, and I wouldn't be surprised or upset if it was was the big winner during award season. When was the last time that a movie brought groups of friends together that went to the theater in costume? Star Wars or Harry Potter probably? So Greta Gerwig has proven herself as a filmmaker. She had a successful indie film with Lady Bird, a successful adaptation with Little Women, and then her blockbuster Barbie made two times the money of Oppenheimer, which was expected to be the biggest movie of the year. She is now free to make whatever she wants, and people are going to line up to see it. Dancing. Flat feet. Hyper stylized sets, living in a toy house, neon clothes, smiling into an empty oval, 